Hey, I'm Max Weiss, and I'm here at the Bun Shop in Mount Vernon to talk about our September issue, the style issue. This, of course, is the most stylish bakery, as if there was any doubt. Now, when I tell people we're doing a style issue of Baltimore Magazine, their first thought is, Baltimore has a style? But of course. What's great about Baltimore style is that it's sort of a melting pot of styles, and they're extremes. You have extremely posh, extremely grungy. You have extremely preppy, and then you have the sort of freaky weirdness. And then you have everything in between. And more and more lately, Baltimore is embracing its inherent Baltimore-ness, if you will. So, featured in the issue, we have the most stylish people, places, and things in Baltimore. We have the Baltimore's best dressed people. We also have an essay where we sort of talk about what is Baltimore style. We talk about the neighborhoods in Baltimore and who is their style muse. Whose style muse is Sid Vicious? Whose style muse is Audrey Hepburn? Etc. The whole thing, it's all about style in Baltimore. So how cool is the bun shop? We're in here filming and nobody even cares or notices. <laughs> now that's cool. Um, okay, so it's fall. What do you want to do in the fall besides look incredibly chic? You want to go on fall drives. So we have a story called DIY Fall Drives. And basically what we're saying is whether you like nature, whether you like shopping, whether you like history, whether you're looking for cute lodging, we have the road trip for you. Maybe you want all those things, maybe you want to mix and match. It's DIY. You can build your own perfect fall road trip. So it's September, of course we have a story on the world champion Baltimore Ravens. Uh, this story is called Leading Man, and it's about Terrell Suggs, T. Sizzle, who is sort of now the leader of the defense and also the de facto leader of the team with Ray Lewis and Ed Reed being gone. And this is a great look inside Terrell Suggs, who was just a live wire. You get to see what makes him tick and how funny and cool a guy he is. His big passion right now, besides football, of course, and crushing people on defense, is film. He actually has written and produced some films, one that went to the Cannes Film Festival. So the guy wins a Super Bowl in one year and goes to the Cannes Film Festival. Not bad. Style, fall road trips, tea sizzle. That should be an entire issue, but no, we just give and give and give. There's more. We also have a great story on whiz kids who are these high school students doing amazing things who are going to restore your faith in the future of humanity. We have a story called Cocktail Confidential about the cocktail revolution here in Baltimore, including some great recipes. And the Chesapeake restaurant has finally opened. It's been a rumor for what, like over a decade now. It's reopened, we review the new restaurant. All that, of course, and all that style. That's a wrap, but since I'm already here, I think I'm gonna get an espresso, grab a copy of Nietzsche, and contemplate the void.